So if you were to look up the term web of lies online, whose picture do you think would come up? Maybe it's the narcissist in your life, or maybe it's a politician. I would love to know what popped into your mind, and we could have a lot of fun with this, so let us know in the comments. In this video, we're going to be unpacking seven ways a narcissist lies to your face. But first, let's talk about why it's called a web of lies, because this is really important for you to know as we're unpacking each of the seven ways a narcissist lies to your face. See, the reason why it's called a web of lies is obviously there are many of them. It's like an intricately woven pattern that is meant to keep you from the truth. Each lie may look different, so you are probably going to see evidence of each of these lies that we go through in the same relationship from the same person, because this is part of how that web is built. And each lie is interconnected and interdependent with the entire grouping of lies. So if one lie falls apart, the whole thing is at risk of crumbling down. And listen, no matter who you are, you have been exposed to someone's web of lies at one point or another. And it's especially damaging when the person who's lying is really important to you. So they play a really important role in your life and they're somebody you're supposed to be able to trust. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you're going to have a full understanding of each of the seven types of lies. And so it'll be much easier for you to detect when someone is trying to deceive you in the future. My name is Christina and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and overcome the effects of emotional abuse. And in this case, we're talking about lies and deception, which often go hand in hand with emotional abuse. So if these topics touch your life, consider subscribing because we have a whole lot more helpful content for you here. And if you can relate to being in a close relationship with a narcissist or someone else who is trying to deceive you, I have a free workbook that you can download. You'll find that in the description. And that'll help you keep track of those times when your gut is telling you something's not quite right and eventually uncover the web of lies. So first things first, the first lie that you will probably notice when you encounter a narcissist or a pathological liar of any sort is embellishment. So these are stories that sound unbelievable. Sometimes unbelievable stories are true, but if somebody has a whole bunch of unbelievable stories and or if your gut is telling you something's not right here, if the details don't add up or if the story changes based on when they tell it or who they tell it to, there's a good chance that person is embellishing. And you'll find that narcissists tend to do this with their accomplishments. Another thing that I've noticed that's kind of interesting, and I'd love to hear if you've noticed it too, highly narcissistic people like to retell their conversations with other people, right? So they'll tell you about how hilarious they were, and they'll give you the play-by-play -play of the entire conversation. He said this, she said this, and I said that, and oh, everybody was rolling. They were falling off their chairs laughing. You'll notice that in their stories, the narcissists always the heroes. But if you know people like this really well, you probably also know that if you were to go get the truth from the people who were involved in that, they were probably just being polite and hoping that the whole conversation would just end soon so they could walk away. So another way a narcissist will lie to you is through omission. Now, sure, we don't have to tell each other every single thing, but what we're talking about here are really big things that would change the way you live your life. They would probably change your entire relationship with this narcissistic person. I'm talking about things that are more than just nice to know, like, oh, by the way, I gambled our entire life savings on an investment it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. Or there are big chunks of their time that are really unaccounted for. They're not telling you things because if they were to tell you what they were doing during those times, then they would be found out and their web of lies would fall apart. With this, I'll add, of course, no one should have to account for their whereabouts every single second of the day. But when we're talking about lies of omission, it's consistent where there's a lot of information being left out and it's being done on purpose. So usually when you find out about lies of omission, it's really just because another thread of the web unraveled. So another way a narcissist will lie to your face is a favorite around here, and that is evasion, which are conversations that usually end up in word salad, an entire debate based on word salad. And when we talk about narcissistic 
word salad. What we're talking about is how the narcissist will just throw out information to change the conversation, but they'll act like they're answering your question or that they're following the conversation. Or maybe they'll ask you questions to throw you off topic, but they will 100% act like it's completely relevant and they are just following the conversation. It is definitely a crazy making behavior. And if you've ever experienced it, I know you agree with me. So if this sounds a little bit familiar to you and you want more information, I have a video that I will link to in the card and the description that details narcissistic word salad with examples. So the next one is incredibly common, especially I would say with covert narcissists. And this way that a narcissist will lie to your face is by telling half truths. So they'll tell you part of the story and part of it is true, yet they omit probably the most important part of that story. So here's one super common example. They're, they're such great friends with their ex. They fail to tell you that they're friends with benefits. Or maybe they tell you something like, I'm going to Vegas for a work conference. But the reality is the conference was optional. They don't really care about it. They're just going to gamble. The next way a narcissist will lie is through bluffing. And this is, I think, more of a support system to their web of lies. So if you have ever experienced this, it goes down a little something like this. Either you catch on that something they're saying isn't true, or maybe you just have a little gut feeling about something. So you dig a little bit deeper. You ask some questions. And this is when a narcissist might call your bluff. So narcissists are very comfortable in their ability to lie, and they're also very confident in their ability to control people and to pull people's strings. So when you catch on to a lie, the narcissist might say, you know what, go ahead, call this person. If you don't believe me, call this person. So you're claiming that I wasn't really with this person, go ahead, call them. Now here's the tricky part, is that it's not always gonna be bluffing but sometimes it is. Sometimes they know that you're not going to call that person because they have gaslighted you so much that you know that if you're wrong, even though everything is telling you you're right, if on that small sliver of a chance that you're wrong, that it's gonna blow up and they are going to smear your name. They're going to tell everybody that, you know, you're crazy and, you know, you've got all these wild ideas and look, here's the evidence. You know how bad it would be if by that small chance you were wrong. So the narcissist knows you're not likely to do it. So I'm a firm believer that we should always go with our gut. Go with your instincts and what your intuition is telling you. If your gut is telling you that somebody's lying to you, they probably are. But here's where this whole bluffing business gets tricky because maybe they're lying about something big, but you're wrong about what they're lying about in this specific instance, and then it could blow up. And of course, as always, we have to use our discernment because there are so many different variables to everything out there, to any situation that you might be in. So it's always gonna be up to you to figure out the best course of action in that specific scenario. Maybe you ask the person, or maybe you find another way to bring down the web of lies. Okay, so we can't get through this list without talking about the outright lie, the bold in your face lie. So there's not a ton to be said about this one. But if you're curious about the most commonly told lies that narcissists tell, definitely watch the video that I'm going to pop into the card right now. And you should also find it in the description. Gaslighting is another way that a narcissist will support their web of lies. And it's really important to them. Gaslighting is a very important part of keeping this web afloat. Because if you believe you're crazy and if you doubt yourself, then it's so much easier for the narcissist to deceive you. If you don't have that inner confidence and strength, if they've taken that away from you already, then it's gonna be so easy for them to get away with their lies. So if they are successful, a narcissist will gaslight you into believing that you've got this whole thing blown out of proportion, that you've made up this elaborate story about how they're deceiving you in all these different ways. And all it is is a work of fiction. But here's where I wanna remind you, if your instincts are telling you something's off, there's usually something off. 
And another thing that's incredibly important for all of us to know and absorb and live is that we don't need permission. We don't need someone else to sign off on our gut instincts, on our intuition, on things that we know in our hearts to be true. So if you're going through this right now, it's really important to reestablish that connection with you and to learn to trust yourself again. And part of that is having compassion for you and where you are right now. So if you've been stuck in the web of lies, if you've experienced gaslighting, definitely don't beat yourself up for it. Things work this way by design. And there are reasons why most people miss the early signs of gaslighting. So if this is something that you're experiencing now, definitely watch this video right here and I'll see you next time.